Okay, I'm in the process of cleaning out my garage on uh, Martin Luther King Day today, Monday, January 17th, 2011. And so I thought I'd make a little video of this uh, teardrop trailer that I made using some plans that I purchased from uh, Cuffle Creek, a company called Cuffle Creek with a K. Uh, they're, uh, they're online. Uh, it might be CuffleCreek.com, not sure. But this is the uh, Cubby uh, version that they uh, sell plans for. And uh, it took me uh, almost two years to finish this, but I didn't work on it continuously. Um, I think if I, if I could work on it uh, pretty steadily, steadily, regularly, it probably would have finished it uh, maybe in about a year or so. You can see I'm in, I'm in the process of making another one. Uh, my son and I started this one this past summer. Uh, unfortunately, I've kind of gotten away from it, but I need to get back on it and finish that thing off. But I was real happy with the way the first one came out. Um, did a couple modifications. These uh, fenders are uh, custom. I made those. They're not part of the original plans. Um, let's see. What else here? There's a the marine battery, deep cycle battery that I use, uh, um, it lasts me a whole weekend without uh, charging and I don't even have LED lights uh, in, in the trailer. If I had LED lights it would probably last me a, a week, maybe more. But I haven't had any problems with the battery. Alright, we'll take a little look inside here. This is somewhat customized, this wallpaper. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Basically. Uh, when I was doing the uh, wood paneling, I messed up the wood over here, and I didn't know what to do about it. And I figured, well, I can turn it into kind of a wainscoting look and put some wallpaper on here, and I'm really thrilled the way it came out. Okay, here's the inside. Uh, let's see here. Let me. And that doesn't help much, but you can see I have some some oak cabinets that I installed in here, and uh, these are all per the plans. I added some detail work as far as the uh, the carvings, but uh, it came out pretty well. Um, the oak's pretty heavy, um, so I don't plan on using that again. Not that it really makes a big difference. If you have something that can tow um, 5,000 pounds, uh, it'll tow this teardrop like it's nothing. Uh, basically, I think the weight of the teardrop's about a thousand pounds. Okay. Uh, here's an exhaust fan that's part of the plans that I put in. Um, and uh, again, all the lighting, that's all part of the uh, original plans in the Cubby model. Okay. Now in the back here, I have um, a galley and uh, I need to push the trailer in a little bit before I get back uh, with the Cubby. And this is uh, probably my favorite part of the trailer. This is the galley. Um, this is where we store our food and we have a sink obviously. Um, I can use the countertop for a propane stove but I I never have just concerned that uh, the grease would splatter and make a mess on the woodwork so uh, we just use that for a staging area for for food and uh, other things. So uh, again I put some detail work with the carvings and uh, Pretty happy with the way that turned out and I love this wallpaper. Um, I started uh, keeping uh, track of where we've been with this trailer by uh, purchasing uh, souvenir stickers every place we go. We've been, uh, this trailer has been to Yosemite, Bryce Canyon, Zion Canyon, uh, Convict Lake and uh, a few other places but I haven't got the stickers yet. Grand Canyon was another place that we went to. Next year we're thinking about maybe going up to Yellowstone. So. Anyway, a lot of storage room in here. It's a little bit messy right now. I need to roll up those cover, uh, those uh, cabinet doors. They're sticking a little bit, but this is a mess down here, I know. But there's a water hose for hooking up the water. The uh, spigot is on the outside here, just to save room on the inside. And we don't really use it that often. Now some. Uh, some people put uh, water tanks in their cubbies. I plan to, but I never got around to it. Part of the reason is uh, pretty much have to buy a custom one if you want it to fit up underneath the, the frames on the chassis underneath. Um, and I just didn't want to put out that kind of money yet. 
And like I said, it really hasn't been an issue. I always take uh, water with us when we go. There's my Grand Canyon sticker, but I might want to get another one. Anyway, that's it for the tier of the cubby. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, uh, if you'd like to build your own cubby, uh, Couple Creek uh, is the company that sells the plants.